Hi everybody. Uh, I hope you're not too sleepy from all the food and the long, long days. But it's time for the Geo Chicas presentation. Let's welcome Maria del Carmen and Maria. Please, these are my queens. <laughs> Um, hola, buenas tardes. Hello, buena cena, dipa miasta. Um, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to the Geochicas OpenStreetMap presentation and thanks for the Phosphory organization team to make it possible. I'm Carmen Diez, an I'm civil engineer working in urban uh, planning in Madrid, in Spain. Uh, like GIS user, and I'm in the Inquietos Madrid group and in a board of QGIS Spain Association. And you? Hi, I am Maria. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hi, I am Maria. I am a GIS analyst. I work in Carto and a bit of a span. If you would like to kind of join us, we are looking for some uh, positions. And I am part of the uh, Geochicas um, community and uh, in the Madrid, some local uh, tech communities as well. Okay. Uh, the Geochicas group uh, was born uh, three years ago in. Uh, Sotan Latam or in 2016 in Sao Paulo, Brazil, and now uh, we are in 20 countries of three different continents. And our projects are made uh, with OpenStreetMap that, uh, do you know OpenStreetMap, I suppose? <laughs> And it's a, a collaborative project to create a free editable maps uh, under an open licensee. Uh, and actually, it's the biggest open geodata community that do maps uh, with more than one million of collaborators. Thank you. Yeah, as you could see um, from the numbers before, there are so much data, but there is no diversity on the data. For this reason, um, how chicas born, because only the third percent of the ONS community are women. So we would like to change that number. We would like to increase the percentage of um, women in the community. And for that, we would like to empower women to be part of the community, to um, lead more projects, and to have more projects focused on women. We would like as well boost the network between women and underrepresented groups. We would like uh, not only increase the number in the OSM community, we would like to um, encourage women to be part of communities, uh, technologic, technological communities as well. And uh, we uh, would like to um, create a network uh, with women and underrepresented groups as well. And for that, we would like to create more space where we can discuss the role of women and the representation of women and uh, create a cause of conduct for all. As well, we would like to uh, create more um, geospatial data relevant for women. So we have been uh, working during these years in different projects that I'm going to um, briefly uh, show you to you. Uh, this one is uh, about uh, feminisms in Nicaragua from 2011 to 2018. And uh, this map, uh, you can see the data about um, where was the feminisms, uh, the age of the aggressor, um, what was the relation with the victim, and what was the sentence for uh, the aggressor. Um, in this one is a um, survey made by uh, Geochicas to the OpenStreetMap users. We could see in this survey um, that the 
most of the people who answered the survey were from Argentina, Kenya, Uganda, Nicaragua, and the States. Uh, we can highlight from this survey that um, there are a huge difference between women and men because the women uh, fell um, at some point. Um, sorry, uh, fell at some point um, like um, aggressive conduct or like uh, uncomfortable situations, and, and the men didn't feel that um, that that much. Um, was almost more than a half a male who um, answered the survey, and women were, were around 40%. And legit, uh, LGBT people were only like 0.4%. Another project we, uh, uh, we have done was the Mapathon for uh, vulnerable settlements because one of Four people who live in uh, urban areas live in vulnerable settlements. So uh, we wanted to create a database that uh, could be um, used in further studios for uh, sustainable development. Another project um, we um, use Mapillary. For example, like uh, in Osaka in 2017, after the earthquakes, to mapping um, the violence against the um, women. Another project uh, um, we have done uh, for the second anniversary of uh, Geochicas is the Mapathon for uh, institution, service, and equipment for um, women that are uh, destined for uh, gender violence mainly. We map in on OpenStreetMap, but at the same time, we edit the profile on Wikipedia. We check if it was uh, the profile, and if no, we create it. Um, another project we, we are doing is uh, offer free webinars from our uh, company's allies, like Mapbox, Carto, and um, Geochicas is no only about um, projects, as I mentioned before, uh, we want to create a network of women and create a space where uh, women can feel comfortable and we can work together in different projects. So every time it's been um, an international event or um, national event, we gather together and um, we make the Geochica steak. Like we did on Tuesday, uh, Geochica steak uh, Bucharest. I think some of you have been there and quite enjoy it. And uh, the last but not the least is the Streets of the Women. It's a project that was um, created for the International Women's Day in 2018. Um, the idea was to uh, reflect in a map and make the analysis about how many streets, uh, venues, and roads are linked to um, um, women names. And also, we wanted to check not only um, how many they were, like if they got a profile Wikipedia. This is the map we created. As you could see, there are cities in Central America, South America, and Europe. And you can, uh, you can see how um, the yellow are the women streets and the green, the men. Also, you got here the information about how many women got an article in Wikipedia and how many doesn't. So I am going to briefly explain a bit uh, the technical um, information about this project. This is a... Uh, um, made uh, with Node, and uh, we use the Child Reduce Library to create the GeoJSON. Um, in the case of Barcelona, we use a local um, database that is, has been made um, with the Spanish National Institution of Statistics. And we got like the collaboration from uh, Wiki Mujeres, and with that information from Wiki Mujeres and with the information we got, we create a CSV with um, almost um, 
69,000 articles in Wikipedia about women. So for um, this is the uh, general um, information for if you want to carry um, the street of the women in your city. Um, you, when select the cities, you see like Planet OSM. Uh, we filter the, the street, we take the MME tiles to take the streets. Then uh, in the case of um, Barcelona, we cross the reference with the data, local database like we created. Um, then we filter a street by name female and male. We consider like uh, females everything that wasn't animal, plants, historical moments, and uh, neither um, uh, inanimated objects. We did manually cleaning uh, all the possible errors and the um, uh, possible names we could um, jump from that. And then we generated um, a new GeoJSON with all the information. So at the end, we got like three files. One file is a GeoJSON with the information like we have been uh, doing manually. Then uh, TST with the st uh, statistical information that you have seen, like the um, charts. And the other one is um, uh, TST, TST with the Wiki, Wikifi prof Wikipedia profile. And that three uh, file is what you um, upload in GitHub and you use for the, the script. So thank you so much. This is our. <laughs> you got here the information. Um, you got the GitHub for the map. Um, you got your or Twitter and web. And also um, for the women, we have a Telegram channel. If you want to join us. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, I can give. We can give you later. Yeah. Okay. Does anybody have questions? No. Okay. <coughs> Stupid question. While you think, so how smart are you in Spanish? <laughs> Anyone else? Okay. Uh, thanks for the presentation. Uh, my background is actually in development, so when uh, visualizing data like this really helped us when we were making projects when I was studying. Uh, but it wasn't really easy to uh, to come up with the like the methods of doing it. They never taught us this kind of thing. Uh, but my question actually is about obtaining the data. So in terms of femininocyte, uh, it's quite difficult, right, to find uh, information about these occurrences. And I was wondering if there was any effort to find the data or like some anonymous portal or anything to, to obtain this data, if there's something like that. Um, the thing is like every project is, well, some of the projects are in different countries, so it is depends on the country. You, we get the information from one source or another. So sometimes it's from official or government uh, statistics, and other um, times it's uh, what you can find out of the official uh, site. So yeah, we know um, sometimes it's maybe not that accurate. Like for example, in the street of the women, uh, there is this calculation about 8% could be the error, but because it's not that many women um, streets, like if you compare with the, with the men, so that doesn't, you know, uh, so it makes like a, a balance if you miss. Uh, so on. Um, yeah, in the case of uh, Nicaragua, uh, the information was from one of our colleagues. Uh, I see she's working on, or, or, or selling cool answer that. <laughs> Yeah, uh, in Geochicas we have the project to work about on feminicides in the whole continent, you know, so and uh, Spain. Um, in this case of Nicaragua, the, they are public data, so 
uh, in general, incomplete data, not very updated, but uh, that, that's a better, the best data we have. In Mexico, we also have public data, also bad, but um, um, I would personally would like to complete that with an analysis by, on tweets, so on um, medias and um, yeah, journals, but um, it's a starting project. Any more questions? Okay. Uh, what's involved in starting a chapter or a, a local group of uh, geochicas? So, sorry, if, if somebody in Australia or New Zealand, for example, wanted to yeah, do that, what would they do? So, um, they can join the Telegram uh, channel or they can send an email or contact us. Um, I think it's contact us, really. Like uh, this thing about the street of the um, of the women, uh, we want it. We, we are from Madrid, so we want it uh, do in Madrid. And um, you go like a repo in GitHub. Like you go there the link, and you can f see all the steps and all the information. It is a. I, I spoke about the part in um, Barcelona, and you can use the, uh, similar that uh, this famous API uh, genderize. So it is depends the country. Maybe you got more. In, more easy uh, get all the information. I know some of them, but there are countries and places that have only numbers. <laughs> so, 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 you know, like, but yeah, for, um, for the earth is uh, content us. And um, if you are a, a man, um, you can contact us as well, and you can collaborate in different, um, different um, um, ways. Like, uh, we, we got the uh, Telegram channel, it's only for us, but that doesn't mean like you can uh, participate or, or contact us. And also you can find now on Twitter, we have a Telegram group, it's specifically for Spanish speaking women, but now we have an international one, it's in English, and we are going to replicate all the information in both channels. So if someone in Australia or Oceania wants to join, they can join the speaking channels if they are comfortable speaking in Spanish, or the international channel that's in English, but it's the same information. We are not currently um, doing like regional groups, but if you want, you can. Just contact us and we will send you all the information and you can read all the documents and chat with the other women that are all already working. Um, this group was created without a project. We, we didn't want it to, to form a group. Actually, we just made um, a panel of discussion about div diversity in the state of the map uh, in Latin America, and that's all. And that at the end of the panel, we just wanted to be in contact, so we, we just wrote the emails and the contacts. We made uh, this chat, and this chat is now a community. So I think it's just about um, finding the need of the people, and the need is to be in contact. So it's, it's just very organic, and that's all. Any more questions? Okay, thank you ladies, my queens. <laughs>